Learning objectives include what is a yeast cell and what are dimorphic fungi. Yeast cell is a non-filamentous fungus. It is unicellular and as other fungi, they can reproduce themselves by sexual as well as asexual means. Although fungi in general prefer asexual correlation or spore formation because when nutrients are abundantly present, they prefer asexual reproduction. But when there is a scarcity of nutrients, then sexual sporulation is preferred. That gives them uh, uh, some genetic or diversity or some advantage, survival advantage. Some yeasts are dimorphic. Dimorphic, di mean two, morphic, morphology means two shapes. So they could be yeasts or they could form themselves or mold themselves into filamentous form, what we call molds. So these yeast cells, if they are incubator or they infect people or animals, because the body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, they develop themselves into yeast, unicellular cells. But if you cultivate them at room temperature, uh, the same yeast can change itself into a filamentous form. So that is the reason most of these pathogenic yeasts, they are dimorphic in nature. And I, as I mentioned, they prefer asexual reproduction. Here you could see that this is a mother cell, a yeast cell, which is giving off another small bud. And this bud basically would give rise to another cell. And this bud would, would be removed from the mother cell as an independent cell. This is how the yeast multiplies when there are abundant nutrients present. Yeasts, compared with bacteria, if you look in the lab in a, on a petri dish like this, the growth plate, these colonies are white and quite large in size compared with bacteria. And the reason is that even individual cells, yeast cell is much larger than ordinary and average size bacteria. There are no flagella, like bacteria, we saw that there are flagella, and there are no cilia. So they are non-motile. They don't, they don't move like with those flagella beating or turning. And they basically like the presence of oxygen, but if oxygen is not, not there, they still can grow and would produce uh, fermentative products. So they basically are facultative anaerobes. If oxygen is there, they can still grow. If oxygen is not there, they still are capable of growing. So that is the, the, the definition of facultative anaerobes. As I mentioned, they're much larger in size compared with an ordinary or average size bacterium. And if you stain them, they behave like gram positive. So please remember, if by mistake or by um, any contamination, if some yeast cells are there in, in a bacterial culture on the same plate and you stain them along with uh, microorganisms, other bacteria, for example, you would see that these big, huge cells that look like blue, they are the yeast cells. And they're really easy to recognize from their size and they typically are oval shape, much larger than the bacteria, gram positive. So in summary, yeasts are unicellular, they could be dimorphic if incubated at 37 degrees Celsius or in the presence of carbon dioxide, they behave like unicellular cells. And if incubated at room temperature, they uh, change themselves into molds. And they can reproduce both sexually and asexually. If they prefer as all, all fungi uh, in general prefer asexual reproduction when nutrients are abundant. And these cells are much larger than bacteria, so they're easy to identify. Thank you.